Is this not me in a palette? Like, did I really try to convince myself that I did not need to have this? Why would I do that to myself? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So I know you're probably thinking, this girl is crazy. Why is she shopping so much? I don't know why. <laughs> I honestly don't. There's been a lot of sales happening. There's been a lot of products that have come out that I've been really excited about, and I feel like some stuff I've just been buying because I want to try, but this stuff, I'm pretty excited. So I'm not going to go into a lot of jabbering like I normally do in the beginning of the video. I just want to dive in and show you guys what I bought. So if you want to see, this is from a bunch of different brands. We have Milk Cosmetics. We have some BoxyCharm stuff. We have some more Sephora, the rest of my sale. Not all of it, but most of it and some Ulta. So if you want to see what I picked up, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so we're going to start off with some more Sephora products. This is stuff that I picked up during the sale. It is not the last of my stuff, but you know, it's not my fault. It's Sephora's fault. The first thing that I picked up is this Necessaire, the Body Ritual Body Care Set. I heard a lot of people talking about this and they were buying, is it the serum? Yeah, there's a serum included in this. They were buying that full price and I almost did that. But then I have this thing where like, I like to try a lot of stuff. So I don't wanna pay full price for one item when I can try four items for the same price. Like what if I hate it, you know? So I decided to get this set, it comes with a body exfoliator, a body wash, a body serum, and a lotion. Summer is coming. You have to get your skin right. Everybody wants to wear shorts. They want to wear tank tops. You need to be exfoliated, smooth, glowing, all of that stuff. So hopefully this works well. I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I had to pick this one up. Next, I picked up some lashes. I think I had lashes in one of my other hauls. I'm not sure. I tried to pick these up in the store and they didn't have them, so I had to order them. This is the House of Lashes uh, Sephora collection collaboration, I guess. But this is the Iconic Minis. The girl in the store tried to convince me that the thicker bands are actually easier to put on than the clear flexible bands, which doesn't make sense to me. But I was like, you know what? I suck at lashes, so what do I know? So I decided to try these out. They are really cute, not too big. I'm just really worried about this band because it looks thick. But let me see if I can take these out if you can see it better. I don't know. I think the style of the lash is really pretty. It's not too thick. They're not too long and they're pretty wispy. So I feel like this could be a good everyday pair if you wear lashes every day. I don't, but yeah, I feel like I won't get told that I'm looking like I'm about to fly away whenever I wear these. So I was pretty excited about them. And these were Sephora collection, so they were 30% off. Next, I picked up the Jizu, I believe is how you pronounce this. This is a hair care product. This is the Honey Infused Hair Perfume. I picked this up because I believe it's also a serum and this stuff is hard to read on the back, nerd. Okay, so I don't know why I thought <laughs> that's what you get for not reading I don't know why I thought this was like a serum because I feel like I've been using this and I've been putting it on my scalp but that's not the right thing or maybe I'm thinking of something else I bought I'm thinking of something else I bought I haven't tried this yet let me stop okay hold on because now I gotta smell it um I thought this I have another product by the same brand and so I was confusing it I have not smelled this yet oh it looks like a perfume bottle that is super cute Oh, that does smell good. It does smell sweet. This, this is good. Okay, this isn't the product that I thought it was. I have not used this one yet. Let me know if you guys have tried this. If you are familiar with the smell, do you know any perfumes that kind of smell like this? Because I like everything to smell the same. So if I have something close, I'll have to check my collection to see. So here is the product I thought I was talking about. This is the same brand, Jizu Honey Infused Scalp Treatment. This says it's for a healthy scalp. Hydrating formula instantly helps to balance and protect the scalp. I feel like when my hair starts shedding, it's coming out from the roots in all of its glorious long strands that we finally have and it stresses me. 
So I think it's because of my scalp. It's not like normal breakage. So I've been working at the root more than just trying to treat the ends because that's where the problem is. And I feel like I have used this. I do feel like it's kind of been helping. Pretty exciting, but I like this so far. We'll stay on the hair trend. I picked up my birthday gifts and I decided to try the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo and the Nourishing Mask. I have not tried this brand before. I've heard this dry shampoo is really good. So that's what made me decide to pick this up instead. And this is small enough that you can travel with it. So I just wanted to pick something different as of course I dropped something else on the floor, but let's see what this smells like. Very fresh, clean scent. I like it. Not too perfumey. Oh, that sounds really good. As long as it doesn't make, I wonder if this has a white cast. I think I heard that it doesn't have a white cast. I don't know. I'm not putting it in my hair right now, but if y'all are curious, comment below. Let me know if you want to know, and that will remind me to let you know. Another hair product. I got actually a few things from this brand. This is the Kerastas Perry. Chroma Absolute. This is, okay, you know it's fancy when everything starts off in another language and then you gotta scroll down to find English. That's what we're dealing with right now. This is the Resurfacing High Shine Rinse Treatment for sensitized or damaged color treated hair. Transformative texture from fluid to cream hydrates and gently resurfaces fiber while reducing fiber porosity and sealing hair. Hair is dramatically soft, smoothed and reflects an intense glossy shine. Leave on for one to two minutes and then rinse. So I wonder if you're supposed to, when do you condition? Cause I have to do that, but maybe you don't condition when you use this. I'll have to read more about it because I definitely don't want to use it wrong. This brand is expensive. I don't know if y'all have tried their stuff before. This is super liquidy. Oh, it smells like alcohol. That's not good. I try not to use a lot of products that have high alcohol content in my hair because it dries it out. <sighs> okay, I don't know. I'll look, yeah, alcohol is the very first product in it. So yeah, I'm conditioned after this. I'm gonna tell y'all right now because alcohol will dry your hair out. I don't care if it makes it look glossy, that's not healthy. So I will probably use this and then use a conditioner. Another product by the brand Keristas. This is their Nutritive Mask Intense for fine hair. This says this is a concentrated nourishing treatment, lasting nutrition for dry, extremely sensitized hair. I don't want to hold y'all up. I'll try to do some research on it, but more importantly, I will let y'all know how my hair feels after I use it because if it's trash, I'm bringing it back. This is expensive, like $60? Something like that. So we don't keep stuff that's expensive that we don't like. We don't do that around here. One more product by the same brand. This is their resistance line. I decided to get a shampoo and a conditioner and I didn't get the one that goes with that set because this says it is for fine. What do we have? It's for strengthening and anti-breakage for damaged lengths and ends. I will let you guys know I have used this. I used it last night and I think I like it. I felt like my hair was really soft afterwards and it combed out easily, all that good stuff. So that's usually a sign for me if it's gonna actually be moisturizing and detangling and all that stuff. Another product I picked up from Sephora is this Kate Somerville. This is another body product. This is the Exfolicate Resurfacing Body Scrub. I have tried this brand on my face before when my acne was really bad. And to be honest, I don't feel like it worked really well for my acne. And some of the treatments were pretty harsh, but this is supposed to be really good to help exfoliate your skin. I plan on using it for kind of like the same way you use the KP Bump Eraser and all those scrubs. I'm hoping that the acids in here will also help because I've been doing some research. I definitely have issues with the KP and like clogged pores on the back of my legs. And I feel like it never used to bother me. And then every now and then I'll see a picture or a video where I see the back of my thighs and I'm like, I hate how that looks. It's like, it just looks like little black dots. Like I'm sure you guys have seen it. So that is what I have been working on. I started getting laser treatments to help with the hair growth. So I don't get 
irritation or razor burn or anything like I used to, but I still have the dots and I hate them. It looks like chicken skin. I don't love it. I want it gone. So most of the products that I'm buying right now are targeted towards helping with that. And the acids in these products help to clear out the pores and help with the dark spots. That's what I heard. I've been doing my studies. So that's what we are working with right now. This is kind of body care. I picked up the K-Skin Sun Care Isle Lip Balm in SPF 30. I will let y'all know I have used this. I was on vacation. Your girl got a little sun, you see me? Um, and I used this when I was laying out because I did not want my lips to burn. I've had that happen and that is horrible. And this works really well. I've also just been using it by itself. I like how it smells. It's just a clear, balm and it does have an expiration date on the bottom of it and this is the packaging here pretty cute neutral color and i actually love the applicator on this it's kind of excuse my ashy hands that i've been washing um kind of like a rubber yeah you can see that how it bends this nozzle here and so it just hugs your lips whenever you're putting the product on so i really like this and i would honestly i would buy this again i know that i would buy it already so that is a good sign I picked up a Charlotte Tilbury product. This is the Brightening Youth Glow Anti-Aging Color Correcting Glow Booster. I believe this is supposed to be a primer. It better be, because that's why I bought it. Apply on its own or on top of my Famous Magic Cream. Okay, no, this is not. Why did I think this was a primer? This sounds like a serum. I was gonna buy the Wonder Glow. I have the Wonder Glow. I have a small one in my travel bag and I absolutely love it. And I was gonna buy that. And then for whatever reason, I was like, no. Oh, because it says brightening. And I guess I was thinking about my dark spots. I just hope they kind of work the same. I usually use the Wonder Glow and then I'll put the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer on top of that. So might have to do the same thing with this one, but at least this one will help with brightening and color correcting. So I don't think they have this in the store for me to even look at. So that's what it looks like. It's just white. And then when you rub it in, has a little bit of a smell. I feel like all of her stuff is very fragrant, but oh, I do kind of see like a little blurring, like smoothing okay that's promising it does not give the same glow it doesn't give the same glow Ooh. okay yeah i feel it i like it i think this will be okay but it doesn't give the same glow kind of like a um illuminating primer like what else is like it maybe like the what's the brand i can't think right now um barbara danessa myrick's yummy skin she has that illuminating primer that's the kind of primer i mean that makes your face look like you have like a liquid highlighter underneath it. So this is not that, but I do feel like it kind of blurred my skin a little bit and it dries matte. So it is definitely not the same product. I was excited about this. So I went to a few stores, they didn't have it in store. I said, I'm just gonna order it. This is the Kaja Beauty Multi Eye and Cheek Color Whipped Dream is what they're calling it. And I got mine in the shade 04 Mocha Tart. I saw this and I was like, I need this. And I wanted to get it in the store and they didn't have it. And then I went to a store and I found it, but I had already ordered it. This is so stinking cute and I love, it says as cute as it is good. I love that this is a multi-use product so you can use it on your cheeks or your lips. And I think this color is something I would definitely use on both. You know, a lot of times they have these and it's like a super bright pink or, a, you know, like red red or just colors that i'm like i might put that on my cheeks but i'm not putting it on my lips or vice versa i would do both with these this is like a very pretty y'all know my colors that i love for blush this is it right here and i'm like i would so put that on my lips matter of fact y'all been asking me about my lip colors a lot and i've been a bad youtuber i don't tell y'all what i'm wearing i don't remember this is a brown lip lighter it's called coco loco from jordana which you probably can't find anymore but this lip color i actually have in the box and then i topped it with something else so i will tell you about that but i'm gonna see we're just gonna do it i want to see because i want this to be a little more pink anyway Yeah, see this feels moussey, but I would keep this in my purse because I would honestly wear this 
and just wear it by itself. So I love this color and I can't wait to try it on my cheeks because this is literally me in a blush. Up next, I picked up a Sephora brow product. And to be honest, I only, is this the brow one? Yes. I only picked this up because I want to do a full face of Sephora brand and I didn't have a brow product. So there wasn't anything that I was just like, oh, I need to have this. And honestly, it's one of those small pencils that I don't love. So little bitty point on this one and it just broke. See, that's why I don't like these. I'm gonna use it for my video, but I don't like it. I don't, <laughs> it's good for like doing the tail and if you want the little brush like hairs or whatever, the hair like strokes people like to talk about. But honestly, my brows are pretty full. So I just like barely fill in the front and then I'm literally just drawing through, put some brow gel and I'm good. So I hope you can see that's the shade right there. Shade is good, but I just, I mean, the fact that this broke just from me trying to put it on my hand, I don't have time, I don't. Last, I think, let me double check. This is the last of my Sephora products. So I picked up Danessa Myrick's Twin Flames. These are the liquid shadows, but it's not the little tubes. These are actually the, it says it's for eye and face. Now, some of these colors, I mean, I guess it's like all in the artistry of it, but I'm like, who's gonna put that on their face as a highlighter? I don't, I don't understand. But you know, whatever, to each their own. I picked up the shades Midnight Pearl, Mystic Fire, and what did it say? Sweetheart. Midnight Pearl is a, the box looks purple, but I feel like, you know what, I'm not gonna lie, because I bought so much stuff that I, I forgot. That's the truth. The box is purple, so I'm assuming that I picked it because it was purple, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Ooh, that's pretty. So it is a multi-chrome and I hope you can see the shifts here, but it's like a blue, I will swatch it. How about that? So this is the shade right here. That is very, yeah, it's like a blue purple gray almost. So hopefully you can see the shifts there. I don't even have a mirror to see what I'm showing y'all. This is so hard. Hopefully you can see it, but that is Mystic, what did I say? Mi not Mystic, Midnight Pearl. The next one is Mystic something. Yes, Mystic Fire. Promise I'm not making these names up, although I do that, do that sometimes too. This one, ooh. See, I'm so, I get so like, ooh, look how it looks in the tube. Have no idea how it's gonna look on the eye. This one, oh my God. Okay, so let me see. Because I feel like the last one looked a lot more chunky. Oh yeah, this is way different. So the other one you can see like glitter and stuff in it. This one is more just like a foil. So while I'm swatching it right now, at the angle I'm looking at it, it looks green. Ooh, but then it turns like purple and pink. See, this is why I was excited. Stuff like this, I know I have 50 million multichromes. It doesn't matter. Every time I'm gonna buy them because that's like my favorite thing. I don't even wear them that much, but it doesn't matter. Look at that. You can't tell me that's not exciting. If you love eyeshadow, this is exciting. So I think this might be my favorite. I haven't opened the other one yet, but right now, yeah. Let's see, this last one is Sweetheart. This one looks like a green to gold that I can't open. I realize any, here's the deal with me. If it's purple, I'm probably gonna buy it. If it's green, I'm probably gonna buy it. And if it's a multi-chrome and it has blue, I'm probably gonna buy it. So this one has blue, green, and purple. <laughs> so that's that. This one is also the foil, not the foil one. It doesn't have that glitter. So from this angle that I'm looking, it looks like almost like an emerald green. This one kind of looks like a olive green. And then, okay, there we go. I was about to say, uh, where's my shift? So yeah, I feel like the one in the middle shifts more. I hope that y'all can see those. But this one kind of goes more like a yellow blue. So yeah, one in the middle, still my favorite. That is it for my Sephora stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and move to the Ulta stuff and I'm gonna try to run through this quick because I feel like I've been rambling. I picked up a dry shampoo, another dry shampoo. This is the brand Kristen S. This is specifically for brunettes. So 
I hate when I use dry shampoo and it leaves that white cast and makes your hair look ashy. I have not tried this brand before, but it says it's oil absorbing, odor eliminating, blowout extending, and vitamin enriched. I want dry shampoos to help with giving my hair some volume when it's like day three, day four, day five, and it starts looking flat. But I don't like when they give too much texture and make my hair stiff. If you know what I'm talking about, if you use dry shampoos, you know. So hopefully this one, I need to smell it. Hopefully this one won't be bad because it had really good reviews. Is there like a lock on this? Oh, it's just hard. Oh, well, first of all, that is no joke. Like this looks like hair dye in a can because that came out on my hand black. Wasn't expecting that. Natural brown tint that helps to blend easier with deeper hair colors. Y'all, look at how dark this is. First of all, this button is hard to push. Look at that. That's a natural brown tint because that looks black. I'm not mad about it because this would be great for my gray roots, but yeah. You definitely, when this says for brunettes, 100% not a joke. I picked up some skincare stuff. I have been getting a lot of skincare from high-end brands and I was like, you know what? Not everybody wants to go that route. Some people need stuff that is going to be a little more affordable or more easily accessible. So I saw that Cetaphil had a new line and this is their Healthy Radiance line. So I picked up three products. I picked up their Gentle PHA Exfoliating Cleanser. I love exfoliating cleansers. I do three steps cleansing normally three so i do my cleansing balm or cleansing oil then i do just like a regular kind of light cleanser to get off the, the cleansing balm and then i use an exfoliator for the last step i like i love my murad aha bha exfoliating cleanser that's like my all-time favorite but that's 40 dollars. i try to find other options that kind of work the same and have the same amount of grit but don't feel too What's the word I'm looking for? Abrasive? Yes, abrasive on your face. So this one says it's gentle and it helps to visibly reduce the appearance of dark spots and hyperpigmentation. Y'all know that's why it had to go in my cart. So I got this and then I got a serum. Same line. It's the antioxidant C serum. Again, targeting appearance of hyperpigmentation and dark spots with 12% vitamins and antioxidants. So yeah, another dark spot product. And then I picked up their Renewing Cream as the moisturizer. And this also says, diminishes the appearance of dark spots and brown patches to brighten dull, uneven skin. We are on a mission for even complexion. We don't have as many acne breakouts, but I'm feeling better about going without makeup or wearing, you know, more light coverage, medium coverage. I still do full, you see it right now, but I do want to find products that are more light coverage, just kind of throw on and go. So yeah, this is, and hopefully this will all help work on all of that. I picked up, um, also was having a sale on some of their shampoos, some of their jumbos. I picked up the Eva NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner. I love their 10-in-1 leave-in treatment. I think I showed that to you guys in one of my other hauls. I did, I remember. I think the last haul that I did. Um, because it says that, I say that I use it for freshening because I like how it smells. But it's also good to help give your hair some shine. And it's very lightweight. It is more like an oil. So I wanted to see, because I feel like that kind of detangles my hair too. I wanted to see if the shampoo and conditioner was just as good. This had really, really good reviews. So anytime I see something that's on sale that has good reviews that I think could work for me, it's gonna make me put it in my cart. Next, I picked up, this was on sale for half off. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. What is this? This is their name is not on here. I know this is their loose powder and it says this is the translucent one. Here we go. All day shine control softening loose setting powder. It was that part that I wanted to make sure I said. So I went to the store. I looked at this. I smeared it on the back of my hand and I was like, oh no, this is going to give me a white cast. It looks dry. Why would I put that on my face? Looks like the Tatcha powder. It does not. 
I have it on my face right now. I used it to set my makeup. It is really light. It blends in. It does not change anything as far as the colors. It is not brightening. I actually put another powder on top of it because I wanted my under eyes and my forehead brighter. But I feel like it made everything kind of look airbrush and then it also mattified a little bit, but I still, like you can see right now, I still feel like I kind of look a little shiny, but like healthy shiny, not greasy shiny, if that makes sense. So the only thing I don't like about this is it has that stupid mesh netting on the inside. So it kind of makes it hard to get the product out. Like once you tap in here and then the net, the net showing, it's hard to get your brush in here. And I like to use a brush and just roll that in. So I may have to use a sponge with it or I might cut that net out to be honest. But yeah, I actually really like this. So I had bought it, I had it in my cart and then I tried it in the store and I didn't get it. And then I decided to get it anyway and I'm glad I did. Next, where's the other one? I picked up two of my very all time favorite, all time favorite eyeliners this is the physician formula waterproof uh where are we at where's the name of course it doesn't say okay whatever waterproof ultra fine liquid eyeliner and this is a brush tip i have this one right now nine times out of ten if i have a wing it is because of this i feel like the way this comes out is just so smooth you don't have to press hard you can get a fine little line at the end or if you need like something super precise, like you can barely touch and the brush will deposit the liquid. It just, it's so easy. And I love that it's drugstore because most of the time you can get it on sale. These were on sale and I was able to use points and stuff. So like this part of the Ulta order, I used most of my points and I think I paid like maybe 50 bucks for all this stuff, maybe. So yes, I bought two of them. I decided to finally pick up the NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer. Apparently this has been out for a while, but it's now like a big hype and everyone's talking about like this is one of the best concealers ever in the drugstore. And I hesitated on picking it up when it first came out because it said it was a serum concealer. And usually those don't have a lot of coverage and they're really liquidy. This one, I bought mine, I didn't tell y'all the shade. It is in the shade Sand. This I thought was gonna be lighter than it is, but it's actually not, and I'm not mad about it. I have it on today. Some of this stuff I tried to put on so I can give you guys first impressions too. But this is the shade right here. I was very surprised at the coverage that this has. This one, I put a layer, I let it dry a little bit, I blended it out some, and then I put some more and then let it sit and then blended that out. And I think it looks good. So I am really happy with this. I'm glad I tried it. I just need to wear it a little longer to see if it's gonna crease or all that stuff because normally with formulas like this, if you don't set them with a lot of powder, they will crease. I set it with the all-nighter powder, but I didn't use a lot. So that's gonna let me know how this is gonna hold up if I decide to wear it all day. Because Ulta was having a sale on NYX products, I picked up two more things. It was buy two, get one free. I've wanted this stupid brush forever. I wanted it because I saw Jackie Ina using it and I'm like, of all the brushes that the queen herself can use, she keeps showing this NYX can't stop, won't stop foundation brush in her videos. So if it is Jackie approved, I need to try it out. I do like, this is a slanted brush, and I do like the density of it. It feels like it's gonna be able to pack on the product really well and not smear it. So, I don't know. I don't think I have any other NYX brushes. I don't think I do. So this will be my first experience, and this one also had really good reviews. The other NYX product that I picked up, just because, honestly, there was nothing else I really wanted, this is the Brow Glue. I saw that this also had a lot of good reviews. It was really hyped up when it first came out. I have this in my brows right now. I don't know if I used enough of it because honestly, I was already happy with how my brows looked and I didn't want them to be too fluffy standing up straight. I'm doing more of like a sleek brow today. So I didn't use a lot of this to try to make them stand up, but I could see how it would do it because this is also a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Um, but yeah, when you go to pull it out, I hope you guys can see this. When you go to pull it out, it's like 
glue, like super goopy. So I can see how it would do that. It says it won't make your brows sticky and it also is supposed to be transparent. So we'll see, I'm gonna try this out on a day where I'm doing more just like my natural brow. I do my natural brow, I fill a little bit in the front and then I fill in my tail, but I leave the rest of it kind of just whatever. So I'm gonna try this then and see how it holds everything up. I feel like this should have a lid on it, but I don't see it. This, okay, so I picked up two primers and honestly, it was because I wanted to try them. This is not anything that I've been looking for or waiting for them to go on sale. This is from the brand Pacifica. This is their Vegan Collagen Skin Solve Prime Blur and Hydrate Primer. I have not, I don't think I've used anything from this brand before. I, I don't wanna lie to y'all, so I'm trying to think about it. But I don't, I've never seen anybody talk about this. I don't know if it's new, if it's old, what the deal is. Um, this is what it looks like coming out. It is like a peachy kind of color. It does feel like more of a, hmm, that smells kind of perfumey. It feels more like a moisturizer but I'm wondering if it's gonna dry down kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury one did. It kind of feels like the Charlotte one did, the way it dries down, it's not mattifying, it's not as mattifying as that one was, but I do kind of feel how it could be smoothing. I mean, I'll have to try it with my makeup because I can usually tell right away on my forehead, if I start applying my makeup and I still see my lines really bad and then I've set it with powder and I can still see them, it's not gonna be a good makeup day and it usually starts with the primer. But this does make my hand feel soft. Now I will say right now, as I'm rubbing, I feel like this is peeling up on the back of my hand and I'm not sure what that's about. I just wiped off the concealer that I had before, so maybe it's mixing with that because I didn't use a makeup wipe. I don't know, I don't wanna judge it too fast, but that might be a sign like if you use too much of this, it'll kind of ball up, so you have to be careful. The other primer I picked up, I ain't gonna lie, this was just because it sounded gimmicky. This is the Flower Beauty Supernova Celestial Priming Whipped Base Detent on Mousse. So why part English, part try to be French? I don't know. But this is basically a priming whipped mousse. It literally looks like a mousse, like has a can, like a mousse top, and when you squirt it out, look at that. That was way too much. It literally is a mousse and it's like purple. So I used this today because I was the most intrigued about this one. First of all, this right here, way too much for your face, way too much, but it is definitely a mousse. And I gotta wipe some of this off. When I rubbed it in, I felt like this definitely leaves you glowy. I did feel that and I saw that whenever I was putting it on, it doesn't, it dries down, but it still looks not as glowy as the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow, but, or like the Flawless Filter, the Airbrush Flawless Filter. I'm just, to be honest, I'm gonna try it again. And I'm gonna try it with a different foundation. Right now, I'm trying out the Givenchy, Givenchy, however you wanna pronounce it, Givenchy. Um, their new matte foundation. Actually, it's right here. Oh, I have more Sephora stuff. <laughs> I was like, why is this right here? I talked about Sephora. I have more Sephora stuff. Anyway, Prism Libre Skin Caring Matte. This is in the shade 6W420. I normally don't do warm shades, but the one before was a neutral and it was too light. And with my tan, this kind of matches. But when I tell you, baby, this is matte matte, like, I wore this to work out and when I was done, it was still stuck to my face, but I just feel like I haven't felt that dry in a really long time. And I felt like it kind of settled in my lines. So I've tried this with different primers and I don't think I like it. I'm gonna try it again. This is expensive, it's like 60 bucks. I want to love it, but I just, I don't know if maybe like that's not my vibe anymore using super matte foundations. So. I'm gonna try it again with primers that I know I love, and if it still looks like crap, she's gonna go back. But we were talking about the primer. So anyway, I have this primer on my face right now. I do like how glowy I look, and I do feel like this gives a slight sheen to the skin. It almost looks gold, 
which is weird because it comes out purple. I hope that's coming off in the camera, but yeah. I feel like it's a bit gimmicky, but I like the sheen of it. So like, this is something else I will probably pair with a pore filling primer, like my putty primer or whatever. But I just thought this was cool and I wanted to try it. This is what I have on my lips. This is the Ofra Flexi Slick Liquid, what is this thing called? I don't know, it's kind of like a liquid lipstick. It's the, is that the shade, Stretch? I think Stretch is the name of the shade. But this is their cream lipstick. So it is not their normal drying liquid lipstick. I had those years ago, tried it. Reminds me of the Huda Beauty dry, dry, dry ones. The Anastasia Beverly Hills dry, dry, dry. Like I feel like people don't really wear that anymore, but I didn't know that they had this formula. So now y'all remember I had that video where I was looking for a super light nude shade to wear and I couldn't find it and I was so frustrated and I feel like now that's all I've been buying because of that one moment, it scarred me. I have this one right now, baby, she is light. Like I filled in my lips with my brown lip liner I put this on and it looked like I was eating a powdered donut still. And honestly, for a more neutral, cool toned look, I could rock it, it would be cute. But today, I'm a little more berry, a little more mauve, and it was just not the tea. This is a very light shade, but it is also very different from anything else I have, and I like the texture of it. So I'm keeping this, and I'm going to wear it with a more appropriate eyeshadow look or maybe just going neutral, like clean girl look everybody's on right now. Few more products. These two I actually bought together because again, that problem that I had. This is the Milani understatement. I think they had a sale on Milani lip products, which is why I got this. I know that I love their lip liners. I have whatever the brown one is. I can't think of the name of it. I have two of those, but I decided to go with a lighter shade. This is number 170, Saucy Toffee. I like brown liners. I like brownish red liners sometimes, but every now and then if I just want to wear a gloss, I don't like that the outer edges of my lips are a lot darker and my top lip is darker. So I just want to even everything out and a gloss won't always do that. I think this shade, if I can swatch it, this one's a little too light, just a tad too light for what I'm thinking I want to use it for but it would still be good for like my lips but better shade. So I'm gonna keep it, but it's not as dark as I thought it was gonna be. And then I also picked up one of their new lip lipsticks. I love Milani lipsticks. I have some that I've had for years and y'all know how I feel. Don't come tell me it's expired just because the box says it expires after six months. Let them people keep telling y'all y'all need to throw y'all products away just to make you buy something else. It's not gonna be me. If it doesn't smell bad and it doesn't break me out, we've had this discussion. I'm keeping it. I like this shade and oh, yes, I love the smell of these. So this again is another nude, very light. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was not gonna be stuck not having something I need again, but I love the shade of this. It is a very light, neutral shade, but I think it'll be super cute for my lips but better or super bold eyeshadow and you need a nude lip. So love this formula and I wanted to try these new colors. This is not from Ulta, this is from Amazon, but I wanna share because that is what we do when we care. This is Body Glide. Let me tell y'all, I have gotten okay with wearing shorts. I used to never wanna wear shorts. What I can't do is wear a dress or a skirt. I don't know, unless maybe they know about this and I just haven't been doing it, how people who have big legs wear skirts and dresses and just walk around all day like that, like it's good. Like, did y'all know about Body Glide and not tell me? Cause one of my friends told me, but I was like, I don't think that stuff works. This is anywhere you have issues with chafing. So if you have underarms, look, we need to hit under the boobs, whatever it is, you put this on and then when you walk, everything just slides together instead of sticking and rubbing and the friction starts burning. It makes me miserable. It makes me not wanna wear dresses and I don't wanna be restricted this summer. I wanna wear what I feel like is cute and this stuff works magic. So if you've had issues, any kind of product that is anti-chafing, body glide, 
I think Band-Aid had a brand. There's a bunch of different ones, but this one had really good reviews. I tried it and it works. This video is gonna turn out to be longer than I thought, but we're all right. Y'all love long hauls. Y'all been enjoying my videos. So comment below, let me know you're still here. Let me know what you're excited about. I love hearing from you guys. These next products are, this is a kind of hodgepodge. Let me go ahead and finish with this Sephora stuff that I thought I was finished with. You got another bag. I don't have a lot in this bag. This was just a random, I went to the store to go pick some stuff up and then got sucked in to buying some more stuff. So first thing is this makeup by Mario. I told y'all in my haul that I fell in love with his liquid lipsticks or he calls them, excuse me, lip suede's. And I decided to pick up a more nude shade because the other one I bought was like kind of what I like to wear as a nude, but it was still borderline like, I think it was Toasty was the name of the shade. You know, that brownish red color that I love. So this one is Naked Spice. And this one, let me go ahead and swatch it, is a lot more nude which I thought would be perfect for more neutral looks. So again, that whipped, moussey formula, but I just love how comfortable these feel on the lips. So I said I was gonna get another one, and I did. I also picked up another Danessa Myricks product. So the other products, I have one of these actually. This is her Color Fix. These are, this is the one in the tube. So I have, I believe it's called Desert Rose. I picked that one up because I thought it was a perfect mauvey, rosy, burgundy, same as that shade that I tried earlier from Kaja. And I was like, I can use that as a blush. I can dry it out and wear it as an eyeshadow. I could wear it on my lips. These are supposed to be multi-use, but there was a shade, this shade, if I can open it, called Rocket, that I was also gonna get Alien, but Alien was sold out. This shade is gorgeous. It looks like a purple, and I have my other ones on, so I'm gonna swatch it over there. But it's like a grungy kind of gray purple. I don't know how to explain it, but I swatched it in the store and I just felt, oh, that's way too much. Um, I felt like it was just way different from anything else that I have. Y'all, these things spread so much. This is like, taupey kind of purple brown i don't even know how to explain it but i just felt like this would be so gorgeous as like a smoky eye and just i would not put this anywhere else on my face but my eyes but some people do but for me i just i love how it looks like almost like a gunmetal gray, but it has a little bit of purple in it. It's just gorgeous and it's different from anything else that I have, so I was drawn in. I think that is it for the Sephora. This is a random product that I picked up because FOMO. Because I wanted this when it came out, I slept on it, and then it just came back in stock again. It was half off and was gone before I could even get to it. And then I found it on Mercari, Poshmark, one of those two. And I put in an offer on it for half price and I got it. So that made me happy. This is the NARS Climax Eyeshadow Palette. When this came out, it was like the perfect fall palette. And I was like, eh, I don't know if I really want that. I hate when I do that to myself. This is what the packaging looks like. Like the Climax Eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, um, mascara. But look at these shades. Is this not me in a palette? Like, did I really try to convince myself that I did not need to have this? Why would I do that to myself? Like, the greens, the burgundy, this kind of cool tone, silvery blue, transition shades. This is a good size to travel with, but that's Barbara right there. That is my palette and I slept on it. The rest of this stuff is kind of hodgepodgey. I have some stuff that I picked up a couple days ago from Marshalls. I finally came and bought this palette. Y'all were laughing at me because a couple of other hauls, y'all were like, Barbara, you didn't buy palettes. Oh, they're coming. I have bought some eyeshadow palettes. So this one is the BH Cosmetics Weekend by Blueberry Muffin Palette. I mentioned this when I told y'all I got avocado toast and I told you I was thinking about getting this and then I changed my mind because I was like, Barbara, you don't need it. And it was like 15 or $16. I got this for $8 at Marshall's. So already that made me feel better. And y'all, it's cute, like, look at this. Very cool toned, 
But these blues, I want to swatch. I can't help it. Cheat day. What is this? Tempting looks absolutely go Oh my goodness. <sighs> yeah, this is definitely something I needed to have. So we're just going to swatch a few because I actually am about to go somewhere. So I'm trying to hurry up, but look at these shades. This palette is so gorgeous. And I know I hope it's not blinding y'all. I know a lot of people have this palette and they love it. And I just, I felt left out. I wanted to enjoy it too. So now I don't have room for swatches. Can we see this right here? So we got that. Like, look at that. One little swipe, gorgeous shades. So definitely glad I finally got to pick this up, especially at the price I did. I also found the Morphe Smoke and Shadow palette. This is one of their nine pan palettes. This one, I honestly don't even remember a lot of hype about it or advertising or anybody talking about it, but I decided to pick it up. Oh, is she broke? No, okay. I decided to pick it up because this is a very cute, cool toned palette. And I like that it's just very neutral cool tones. So there's not purples, there's not, you know, too many shades of brown. Like it's a lot of gray, a lot of taupe. And I thought it was cute. A little reminding me of the Natasha Denona Glam palette. Maybe I'll compare those. Tell me if y'all see it. I don't know. I kind of see it. So I may do a comparison just to see how the shades look. If you didn't want to pay $65 for Natasha Denona, I got this at $9. So definitely felt like it was worth it. I like the Morphe formula. I know some are hit and miss, but I feel like for the most part, I get good eyeshadow looks whenever I use their stuff. So this is BH Cosmetics' The Venom Palette. I think I remember when these came out, but I don't, again, don't remember a lot of people talking about it. This is very similar to what I just showed you. Again, very cool toned. I love shades like this. This is not a black. It's like a dark, almost kind of purple. And at first I was like, Barbara, do you need to get both of those palettes? But this color right here is what did it for me because this is not in the other palette. I'm trying to see which finger is clean enough to swatch it. And I just thought it was a really pretty shade. And I love that they included it in this palette. So that is honestly what did it for me. If I'm being complete, this, is this a topper? It is not, and that is gorgeous. <gasps> Deadly Bite, where can we swatch her? Let's put her down here. Look at how pretty. Ooh, it kind of looks like a duochrome, like a silvery blue. Also from Marshalls, I picked up the Glam Light Pizza Slice Palette. I want to say I paid like $5 for this. I have not tried this brand. I've heard a lot of people talking about it. And I know like their Hershey Kiss line that they came out with. I want some of those. I want that and their drinks collaboration, whatever it was with the chocolate martini and all that stuff. There's a palette I want from that line and there's a palette I want from the Hershey Kiss line, but I saw this one and I was like, oh, what does it look like? And I saw the back, it's greens. And we know Barbara loves greens, so did not even hesitate because now I get to try the brand and it's colors that I like. Look at how cute this is, looking like a little veggie slice. Look at these shades. This is so pretty and I love that they have this kind of, I guess that's like the pizza sauce. But you can use this, if you use it light enough, you can use this as your transition shade. But these are great transition shades. These two kind of look similar. I love that it has a black, but I just thought this was stinking cute. A few other random products that I picked up at Marshalls. I picked up the TGIN, thank God it's natural. Miracle Repair Smooth and Protect Edge Control. Okay, if y'all have been watching my videos for a while now, you know if I don't have a wig on, this is how I wear my hair, or it's in a ponytail, and I don't slick my edges back. I don't put a lot of tension on my edges because I don't wanna have thin edges. I don't understand how people are all, like can do baby hair and like slick back, slick back, and they don't lose their edges. I don't know how that's possible. Maybe it's not, and they do, and they don't care. I don't know, but I don't wanna be one of those people. So. I saw this and I saw that it has biotin and black castor oil in it, which are for hair growth. And I was like, okay, I can get behind this. I did use it today. I do feel like it helps slick this back, help with these roots that are grown out right now. And my hair does feel, 
a little crunchy. Like it feels like there's product in it, but it's not too hard to where it feels like it's matted to my head. So it's definitely gonna hold and slick stuff back, but it's not gonna feel like I have like super crunchy gel or anything like that. So I got pretty good vibes. You know, first time trying this first impression is good. I also picked up another Eva NYC product. This is the Gotta Bounce Curl Defining Lotion. Y'all know, working with these curly wigs, I'm still looking for my ultimate holy grail Keeps my hair curly, not crunchy, looking juicy, but don't have to keep wetting it kind of product. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So this says it's gonna define your curls. It's powered by Aloe Leaf, Cactus Flower, Tames Curl, Tames Frizz, defines curls and moisturizes. So hopefully all the other products I've used from this line have been good. Hopefully this does not disappoint. All right, I got one more box. And this is a hodgepodge. This is stuff that I picked up from BoxyCharm, one of their pop-up sales. I picked up the Item Beauty. This is their lip gloss, Lip Quip in the shade Come Through. This is very, very moisturizing. I think this is kind of supposed to be plumping a little bit, but I don't feel like it's the same as like my Lawless or anything like that. But this shade is really pretty, super glossy. I wear this pretty much by itself with no liner. I don't feel like it gives that much payoff to where it changes my lip color that much. So this is definitely great for just moisturizing. I could not believe, I feel like I had three of them. And right now, yep, I did. I couldn't believe that these were in the sale. And so I hurried up and snatched them. This is the Lawless. Forget the filler, plumping lip gloss. Y'all know I love this. I have a kit that I bought during the Sephora sale. I have a single that I bought, and now I have backups. This one is in the shade Rosy Outlook. I didn't care what shade it was. I was just gonna buy it anyway. This one is a pretty, okay, I don't wanna open all these, so I gotta find the one that I opened because why I decided I needed to put it back in the box. This one's pretty much just like a clear, but I just love. These do make me feel like my lips are being plumped, but it's not too much of a sting. I hate the ones that sting a lot. I make it feel, it feels like it like, just fills in my lines and just, mm, look at them lips, yes. I love this formula. I'm gonna probably save one of these for a giveaway. I'm, I'm not gonna be greedy. I'm gonna save one for a giveaway, maybe two. I don't know because I have my other set. But I saw these and they were, I think, if not half off, a little more than that. So your girl had to grab them. I also picked up, okay, I picked up one, two, just two, I think just two, three. I picked up three primers. These are all illuminating primers. I told you guys I want illuminating and I want smoothing. With summer coming, I do plan to wear my more matte foundations, but I don't want my face to look sucked in like skeleton skin, like snake skin, like everything can't be dry. When my skin was oily before, I could pull that off. I can't do that now. So the first one, hadn't tried this before. I don't even remember seeing it in stores when it came out. This is the Ciate London Dewy Skin Vitamin C Glass Glow Primer. I have a feeling that this is probably gonna be like the Smashbox Vitamin C Primer, but I don't know, I don't know. Just my initial thoughts. Uh, I just wanna see how glass skin it's gonna look. It is white like all the other moisturizing ones. And this one is also peeling up a little bit. So yeah, if you have something on underneath, might need to be aware of that. But a little smell, but I might be what I had on earlier. This doesn't smell. Definitely not like the Charlotte Tilbury. Is this gonna dry down or stay like this? This is why it says glass skin. You see the reflection. It doesn't feel oily though. It does not look like this is drying down and the more I rub it in, like it kind of loses a little bit of its shine, but that shines. The other primer is the Smashbox Photo Finish Illuminate Glow Primer Vitamin C Sunscreen Complex. What sunscreen? Does it say that? No, it doesn't, Barbara. That's why. <laughs> Silk screen, not sunscreen. I was like, it doesn't say the SPF. This says it is packed with vitamin C, passion, and passion fruits. 
I think I've seen these in the cosmetics company store too. Ooh, okay. So this looks right out the pack more like a little gold. Yes. So this is what I like under my makeup. Look at that. That still looks very glassy, but this kind of has a gold sheen to it. I love stuff like this under my makeup. So this is probably going to go in my top drawer and I want to see how it compares to my Charlotte. Next is the Always an Optimist Illuminating Primer, Primer by Rare Beauty. Again, we were on a mission and they had a bunch of, I was surprised they had Rare Beauty on there to be honest. I have the pore diffusing primer that is in my travel bag. I like it, it's pretty good. It dries down, pore blurring, all that good stuff. I can't say that I'm that sure that it actually does anything as far as like making my makeup last longer. We're gonna put this one on the inside of my wrist. Same packaging as all her other stuff, super cute. And then, I don't know if this has a sheen to it because it's wet or is it gonna stay like that? I'm gonna let this sit and see how it dries down but it definitely does not have the same glow as this. This still looks pretty shiny. Keep rubbing and see. Yeah, see this one blends in a lot more and I don't really see a lot of radiance compared to the other ones, but we'll see how it wears under makeup and if it helps everything to look a little more hydrated and dewy. I picked up a couple products from Too Faced, so I don't know why. I picked these up because they're definitely going to need to be cut, but I didn't know they had lashes. This is the Better Than Sex Faux Mink Falsy Lashes. The style of these lashes is up my alley in terms of the wispiness. They look a little long. I can deal with long if they're not too thick, like too much volume, but they're definitely going to be too big for my eyes, so I'm going to have to cut the ends. I hope that's not blinding y'all, but... I thought these were cute and they look pretty natural. So just wanted to give those a try. And then I picked up the Primed and Poreless Pore Blurring Mattifying Face Primer. I used to have this and I loved it. And then they stopped selling it and I found it again and I was just like, I need to have this. It is white and it is a priming powder that is pressed. So you can put it on, you know how People will talk about like when you want your makeup to last all day, you put your primer on first and then you set it with a powder. That's basically what this is. Just watching it, there is a little bit that you can see on my finger, but it just made that matte. It didn't change the color. So yeah, I remember loving this and I was happy to see that I could grab another one. A few more products. Next, this is the Persona Cosmetics Identity 2 Palette. I've never tried the palettes from this brand. I know the first one everybody raved about and said it was so good and the formula was so good and I liked the color story, but I wasn't like, oh, I had to have it. This one was, I think, more than half off. So I was like, you know what? This is a good time to go ahead and try the formula. And honestly, I have used this already. <laughs> the colors in these, I feel like these are pretty wearable, neutral, everyday colors with a couple pops. So this yellow, I don't love yellow golds like this anymore. I feel like when I first got into makeup, I did, but this is not my jam anymore. I can still wear it, but it's not what I'll gravitate towards. But these other shades, all are gorgeous. And I think this is really cute. I've been using this shade here it's a matte, but it has a slight sheen for like a lid color. And then I'll put a little bit of this and then I'll put a little bit of this. And that's like my throw on and go, want to look awake and put together. So I've really been enjoying this palette and I enjoy it more for the price I got. it. We'll stay with the eyeshadow palettes. I have two and then we're going to talk about fragrances and be done. So I had to, I had to, I had to, I had to. I told y'all I was gonna stop looking for Gemini. I was gonna stop looking for something close to it. I was gonna stop looking for Melt because I know I love their formula, but I have a few of their palettes and I know you couldn't get Gemini anymore. So I was gonna give up and then they brought it back. That was a sign to me that I needed to have it. So I bought this bundle from Melt Cosmetics. This is the Gemini 1 and the Gemini 2 palette. I'm wearing Gemini 2 on my eyes right now. This look was so fast. It is the standard formula. Love their mattes, never have an issue with it. 
I haven't even swatched it and I'm not swatching it. This is so gorgeous and I love that this is not like that yellow gold that I was just talking about that I don't like. Like this is such a gorgeous like orange kind of brownie gold if that makes sense. Like a not bra like a light brassy color maybe. It's not bronze but I don't know. I just thought this was like this could be an everyday palette for me because it has my greens, but then I can also go the neutral route and it has a black. I'm so glad I finally got this palette, y'all don't even understand. And do I probably have these shades in a combination of other milk palettes that I have? Yes. Do I care? No, because I wanted this palette. Right now, I said I have the Gemini 2 on my eyes. I didn't wanna just go green and I knew I would've if I would've went into the other palette. The packaging is very similar, just shows different for the colors of the palettes. But y'all, I did not, I have, like I said, I have this on my eyes. I did not expect this to like, I did not expect to like this as much as I do. Cause I was just like, oh, here we go. Rosy, burgundies, whatever. But y'all know the formula and the color payoff of these shades. I have this on my lid, which actually came out a lot lighter than I thought it would. I have this shade and this shade and this shade <laughs> and this shade. I was trying to put as much stuff on my eyes as I could. And I don't know if you can see it, but I have this shade on my bottom lash line. So yeah, I wanted to use every shade in the palette. But I use this brown and I use this brown on my bottom lash line as well. I'm not mad about it. I have no regrets. As soon as I saw it was released, added to cart, hurried up and checked out. You could have gotten them both at Sephora, but even with them together and the 20% off, it was still cheaper to go on the Melt website and get the bundle at a discount, which is what I did. Last but not least, fragrances. I have been looking for a sale on this and apparently the cosmetics company store has now decided they're going to start selling products online. I hope I don't get myself in trouble with that because right now it's like, I can go to the store, but it's kind of far, so I don't go often. If y'all sending it to my house, it's gonna be a problem. This is the Michael Kors Gorgeous Perfume. I freaking love this. I wanted the intense version, but that's okay because I have enough fragrances. This smells so good and I paid $70. This is $120 normally, I paid 70 bucks. This, I forgot what the notes are and I can't look them up, but I just thought the bottle is gorgeous. I really like Michael Kors fragrances in general. I think I have like four or five of them now. This is sweet. Oh, this smells so good. Like smells, this is like sexy, like that amber musky kind of, Mmm, this is definitely, I would wear this anytime. People say like, oh, you have date night fragrances and you have spring fragrances and winter. So if I was trying to be PC with when you're supposed to wear it, date night, nighttime, winter, fall. But y'all, I wear this right now and I love it. And I'm gonna keep doing it because it smells amazing. I'm saving the best for last because y'all, I lost my mind. I gotta sit back and tell y'all. First of all, I wish I never would've smelled this. I really do because, <laughs> uh, I wish I never would have even heard of it. So I'm gonna blame it on Dossier. Dossier, I still don't know how you pronounce it. When I worked with them, I hope you guys saw my video where I introduced the products and how it works. It is a, it's a fragrance company that sells alternative versions to really expensive high-end fragrances. So if there's something that you've been wanting to try, but you don't wanna pay the full price for it because you don't know if you're gonna like it, or honestly, you don't wanna spend that money on that, you can get these fragrances for like 29 bucks, 39 bucks, and it is literally a duplicate of the more expensive one. So they sent me a couple to try, and I decided to pick their version of Killian Love Don't Be Shy, which they call Floral Marshmallow, and I picked up Ambery Saffron. Ambry Saffron is their version of Baccarat Rouge 540. I've been hearing about that perfume. I refused to buy that perfume. I said I was not buying that perfume. There was no reason to spend that much money on perfume. <laughs> Every freaking lie you can tell yourself about the perfume, guys. 
I'm still leaning into it's my birthday. I turned 40. Life feels good. I'm less stressed. I'm in a happy place. You're happy. You celebrate. You, you, apparently, you spend $500 on a bottle of perfume. Yeah, lost my mind. But I did want to see. Did it smell just as good as the one from Dossier? So I know I love this. I know how good this smells. And I was like, does it really though? I'm gonna tell you right now, it absolutely does. Now I will say this is the extra, extra this one is the strong one, the intense one. I felt like if I was gonna spend the money, I was gonna get the one that was gonna give me the most bang for my buck and last the longest because I won't have to spray as much. Yeah. Oh my God, yes. These smell exactly alike. Oh, look at that. No, I forgot I didn't push that on. I just dropped the top off. Hold on. I'm gonna go ahead. I took the top off because they gave me an atomizer to where, oh, you can put a little bit of it in here and then you can like take it with you. And I tried and it did not work. So my top is off, but I'm just gonna spray a little bit to spray that on. Oh, <laughs> it smells so good. I'm not mad I bought it. I'm gonna say that right now. I'm not mad I bought it because it smells freaking amazing. And this is the strong, intense version of it. So it should last me forever, unless I wear it all the time. But I can officially say that I know for a fact that the Dossier version smells exactly like it. Now, will it last as long? Probably not, especially since I got the intense one. But if you're spending $29 on the bottle, Girl, spray that perfume and then buy you another one and be done with it. Like, don't even stress yourself. This lets me know right now, and I said this in my last video, so I am co-signing on what I said before. I will try any fragrance that is expensive from Dossier first before I pull the trigger or I'm spending money on something that I'm not sure I'm going to like. Or because I have a pretty big collection, if there's something else I want to try that'll be more just like a, I want to experience this different type of scent, that's the route I'm gonna go. It just makes more sense and it's gonna save me a little bit of money, which in case you guys haven't noticed, that's what makes me excited about buying stuff. So this is the end of my haul. I realize this is probably gonna be long. That's why I stopped swatching stuff in my other videos, but y'all see the joy it brings me when I do it. So I hope you stay till the end and you're just excited, just as excited as I am. I'm gonna end this video here. I think that is everything. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not done with my haul videos. So just live vicariously, enjoy it, because as soon as all my stuff comes in, I'm shutting it down, I think. I have no reason to buy stuff. Like at this point, I'm buying Mother's Day's gifts and then there's nothing else. There's no more holidays that Barbara needs to be buying stuff. So thanks for sticking with me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I love hearing from you guys. Y'all have been so great commenting. Tell me what you're excited about, what you want to see. I'm screenshotting. I'm taking notes. And I hear you. I'm going to get it done. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.